First Alert 5 weather with Sam Schreier. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a beautiful looking day outside. We do have some cloud cover out over Pikes Peak, but plenty of blue sky coming into town. That warmth from the sun is going to try to help heat and mix the air around. So we'll try to drag some of the stronger winds out of the top of the sky. A little closer to the surface here. 72 degrees currently in the springs. I mean, it's a gorgeous day. It's warm for this time of year, for sure, because you got to remember, the rest of the afternoon to go. A little grayer looking in Pueblo, but traffic's moving. It's 72 degrees and the wind is calm. Pueblo was always kind of the suspicious county, including it in the red flag warning because the winds don't look that strong even later today. But it is warm out there. 70s for most of the interstate. Even Monument's at 71. 77 out to Lamar. Springfield, your sensor's been acting up, but you're likely a little bit warmer than Lamar. And the wind is still getting a little gustier out of the wet mountain valley through the Walsenburg area, kind of right where we expected it. Some of the biggest wind gusts will likely be in and around those mountains out towards Walsenburg and Trinidad later today. Now, as the wind picks up, what pollen is left in the air is going to loft around, but it is worth noting the pollen is going to keep staying on the low end as we go closer and closer to winter. So that's a nice thing. Satellite radar at Cloud Cover we saw in chunks is still kind of flowing rapidly over the state. That tells me that the winds up above that jet stream is whipping over the state pretty good and we should be able to tumble that wind down closer to the ground. A couple cold fronts are on the way. This one is for Friday, so this one is going to come tomorrow, get us a little cooler, and then back farther is a much stronger cold front that will give us some better cooler weather on Sunday. And this front is going to drag some big snow to the mountains. Probably going to see a couple inches out west tomorrow, but Sunday is the bigger day for mountain snow. And remember, until we get there, it's all about the warmth. It's all about the flat red flag warnings. Now, the wind gusts are overestimating right now, but I like what they look like from 2 o'clock out till about 3 and 4. Got some of the biggest wind gusts in the mid-20-mile-per-hour range down towards Walsenburg, out into the mountains. A few of these kick through Colorado Springs, but by 5 to 6, we start to back off, and it's generally pretty calm overnight. And our hour-by-hour Tomorrow, as I mentioned, most of our rain and snow from the morning stays out west. Maybe a stray shower or two comes into some of our southern mountains, and I do think we could get a stray shower in the Pikes Peak region as rain tomorrow afternoon. But as far as snow goes, that's going to be a lot more out west, which is kind of a good thing, but any moisture is good moisture. We've got Colorado Springs getting down into the 60s tomorrow. Again, a small isolated chance of rain in the afternoon. Keep in mind that chance is better over the mountains and towards Monument. Then we go into the 50s from Sunday into Monday. Pueblo, here's what I'm seeing. 80s turn to 70s. I, I love your temperatures overall. It's gorgeous. You just don't really have a good rain chance, and it is going to be kind of windy. So fire danger stays high, and the same goes for Canyon City. Right now, I just don't see a good rain chance. I see it being cooler into the weekend, Sunday and Monday in particular, kind of windy. And finally, Woodland Park, going to give you a chance tomorrow of a little rain, maybe a flurry if we get cold quick enough, but I think the next snow chance is probably Sunday morning is some light snow.